December 22, 2032, mark this date, a space rock the size of a city block is hurtling through the void at 40,000 miles per hour. And it's not aiming for us, it's aiming for the moon. But here's what they're not telling you. Asteroid 2024 YR4 carries a 4.3% chance of lunar impact, odds that would make any gambler sweat. When NASA first detected this cosmic bullet in late 2024, they feared Earth collision. That fear has evolved into something far more complex, because missing Earth doesn't mean missing consequences. Three questions haunt every astronomer tracking this celestial wanderer. What happens when 100 million kilograms of lunar debris rain down on us? Why are scientists considering nuclear destruction over deflection? And what aren't our orbital infrastructures designed to survive? It's as if the cosmos held its breath, waiting to see if we're ready for what comes next. The data tells a different story than the headlines suggest. 24YR4 measures between 53 and 67 meters in diameter, roughly the height of a 20-story building compressed into a tumbling mountain of rock and metal. The European Space Agency's latest observations, enhanced by James Webb's precision, place impact probability at exactly 4.3%. In cosmic terms, that's practically a certainty. NASA's April 2025 report shifted the narrative entirely. Initial Earth impact fears dissolved when trajectory calculations revealed our planet was never in the crosshairs. The moon, however, sits directly in this asteroid's potential path. Let that sink in. If impact occurs, 2024 YR4 would unleash energy equivalent to a nuclear explosion on the lunar surface. This would mark the largest object to strike our satellite in over 5,000 years. Since humans began recording celestial events, the collision would excavate around 100 million kilograms of lunar material, hurling it across the Earth-Moon system at escape velocity. Think of it as cosmic shrapnel from an explosion 240,000 miles away. Here's where it gets strange. The asteroid's critical observation window extends until 2028, when gravitational influences will either confirm or eliminate collision probability. Until then, we're essentially watching a cosmic coin flip in slow motion, where heads means spectacle and tails means, well, also spectacle. The scientific community fractures along predictable lines, traditional deflection methods, gravitational tractors, Kinetic impactors, even nuclear pulse units, require decades of lead time for asteroids this size. We have seven years. Johns Hopkins researchers argue deflection remains possible using concentrated nuclear pulse propulsion. Their models suggest a series of precisely timed detonations could alter 2024 YR4's trajectory by the minimal fraction needed to ensure a lunar miss. And yet, MIT's competing analysis reveals deflection's fatal flaw, margin of error. Any miscalculation doesn't just mean mission failure, it means accidentally directing the asteroid toward Earth. This creates what specialists call the nuclear paradox. The same technology capable of saving lunar infrastructure could inadvertently threaten terrestrial civilization. European astronomers propose another option, controlled fragmentation. Rather than deflecting the asteroid intact, nuclear charges could shatter it into smaller pieces. But simulations suggest fragments could generate more total debris than a single impact. We'd trade one massive explosion for dozens of smaller ones. Consider this possibility. What if lunar impact represents not disaster, but opportunity? the largest uncontrolled space experiment in human history, delivered free of charge by gravitational mechanics. The question isn't whether impact will affect Earth. It's how dramatically. Debris reaching Earth's atmosphere would create the most spectacular meteor shower in recorded history. For several nights, our skies would burn with falling lunar fragments, each streak a piece of ancient moon rock returning home. But spectacle carries hidden costs. 
low Earth orbit hosts more than 8,000 active satellites. The International Space Station orbits directly through potential debris fields. Each fragment becomes a hypervelocity projectile, capable of puncturing spacecraft hulls like cosmic bullets. Satellite internet, GPS navigation, weather monitoring, military communications, all suddenly vulnerable to lunar shrapnel at 25,000 miles per hour. What we thought was a distant moon problem transforms into an immediate Earth crisis. The 2009 Iridium Cosmos crash involved just two satellites and created thousands of fragments still threatening spacecraft today. 2024 YR4 could generate millions from discovery to destruction, from deflection to debris fields, 2024 YR4 represents more than astronomical curiosity. It's a preview of humanity's cosmic future. This asteroid forces us to confront unprecedented questions. Do we protect Earth directly or preserve the moon as our celestial shield? Can we accept spectacular risk for scientific advancement? NASA's monitoring program extends through 2028 when gravitational shifts will finalize YR4's fate. Until then, observatories worldwide maintain constant watch. The December 2030 window approaches with mathematical inevitability. Whether it brings disaster or discovery depends entirely on choices we make in the next four years. The universe keeps its secrets, for now. But one secret it has revealed. We are no longer passive observers of cosmic events. We are participants with the power to influence outcomes and the responsibility to choose wisely. The next mission could change everything. Subscribe to be the first to know when NASA announces their final decision on 2024 YR4, because when the cosmos delivers a test case for planetary defense, we all deserve to see the results. In Cosmos, we trust.